over the last few years of doing YouTube videos. Now, if you look at this channel on the about page, it looks like we got started in 2024 and that's because I accidentally, due to some confusing language from YouTube, that's because I accidentally uh, deleted our channel that had, it would have been, it honestly would have probably been almost 5,000 subscribers at this point, but whatever. But over the last few years, I have gotten a lot of encouragement from you guys. Uh, and if you're wondering what's with the weird angle, it might rain, but I wanted to do a cigar review today, so you're kind of off to the side. And I'm leaning in because the camera's like really far away. It may not, you may not even be able to notice. Uh, but I've received a lot of encouragement from you guys. So if you will indulge me, uh, at the end of the video, I am going to take a few minutes to just update you guys on a few things. Uh, we're going to get to the review here real quick, but if, if you're one of those long-time people who you know, are curious about our lounge updates, are curious about what we're doing. If we've talked on the phone, you know, if you're one of the, the friends of the channel, instead of just one of the casual 89.7% of you who are not subscribed, uh, stick around to the end, because we'll have an update. Hey guys, I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, I went up to a local lounge that is closed now, and this nice young man, over 21 of course, gave me this Tatuaje uh, 10th anniversary. It looks like, it looks like a short Toro, long Robusto. Uh, and he's like, have you ever had this? And I said, no, I have not. And that's the truth. So uh, I, let me give you a close-up of this thing. This is the Tatuai uh, Tattoo. I don't know why it says that. Let me show you what I'm talking about, and then we're going to get a cutlet. And you can see a little bit of the, uh, the rain that's out there. So we're under the, the patio cover here. But this is the Tatuai. We've got a nice, sweet glare. So let's get this thing out of the cellophane real quick. Uh, so I've probably had this in my humidor personally for a few weeks now. But uh, here we go. The Tatuaje Tin. This is a Capa Especial, so maybe a slightly unique Vitola. We've got a couple different Vitolas up on the site over at Cigar Score Lounge. And this is, uh, I don't know if this is one of them or not. You'll have to just check that out. But we have a nice uh, closed foot, a nice looking cigar. It's very smooth, it's got a little bit of an oily texture to it. And yeah, there's your closed foot. See if I can get this showing you the other direction. But there you go. Brown label Tatuaje 10 Miami. Uh, what does that say? Selection de Cazador. Selection de Cazador. Something like that. And uh, yeah, let's see if this is worth putting on the shelf and earning a cigar score of five. So we got the timer started. It smells good. One thing that I have loved over the Tatuajes and enjoyed over all the ones that I have smoked over the last several years is they have just some of the best smelling wrappers on the market. Uh, I didn't exactly take my own advice there, but you can always cut more, you can never cut less, so you know, cut less with your sweet Zycar uh, XO cutters. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get that a um, super good draw because of the closed foot. It's actually great, and it's very woody, and um, yeah, very woody. So when you have a closed foot, just a small public service announcement. When you have a closed foot, puff on it as you light it, because you're going to get a blast of this Nicaraguan wrapper. We'll figure out all the deets here in a second, but um, I'm going to use this lighter here, and I'm going to puff on it as the the wrapper gets lit first so I can get exactly what the wrapper tastes like. It almost tastes like an Ecuadorian Habano, but my guess it's a Nicaraguan Habano. I'm not getting a ton of smoke because I know the rest of the cigar is probably not lit yet, so let's go for that. Okay, so let's see. There's something doughy in there. Uh, very, very bready, very woody. There's some spice. Uh, it is definitely ticking, tickling the, the sinuses a little bit. It's actually tickling the back of my throat more so than anything else. Um, I'm glad I have my water here, which my, I, the ice on my water is steaming because it is raining and it was almost 100 degrees today. 
and it's now in the probably high 70s and it's weird I don't know if you'll be able to see that but my it looks like my cigar my water is having its own smoke anyway if this is gonna be tickling my throat I'm glad I have something to drink with it because this is a beautiful cigar sweet floral not too overwhelming yet Let's pull up the internet and we're going to learn about this Tatuaje 10th Anniversary Miami. i got to figure out exactly what it's called. We're going to figure that out here in just a second. All right, would you look at that? This is an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. Oh, man. I feel a sense of pride. I called it. Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. Uh, binder and filler are Nicaraguan. I don't have a Vitola on this one. Let me see. Let me Give me one second. Okay, this might be... They, what they call the Robusto, this is a 5 and probably 3 eighths by 52 ring gauge, maybe? How much do these cost? Maybe $10.95? Actually, that's a pretty good price. You know, I think to, I think Tatuaje generally has a pretty good price on their cigars. Way to go, Pete Johnson. In a world of, in a world of increasing prices, I think Tatuajes are generally generally pretty pretty well priced so ten dollars 95 cents five and three eighths yeah three eighths by 52 i believe that's what we're going with here ecuadorian habana wrapper nicaraguan binders and fillers uh my guess is this would be a strength four out of five yeah that's what that's what we got here so uh stick around so far mm. That's spicy and kind of sweet. Very enjoyable cigar at this point. Stick around and I'll let you know how it's going. And again, stick around to the end and I'll give you an update. All right, it's time to take the second label off here. The first one came off just fine. The flavors on this are spicy and bold. I'm not sure I love the flavors. It tastes like many other Tatuaje cigars, but maybe a little bit spicier. One thing I've not found in a lot of Tatuaje is there's not a lot of complexity. The flavors are good, but there's not a lot of flavor change between the uh, from the beginning to the middle to the end. And I would say that for the most part, that's kind of the case here. In the first third, I didn't notice any sort of, it's almost a sour flavor. It's not, it's not really sour, but it's kind of sour. If you know what I mean. Maybe you don't. I don't know what I mean. It's just, it, it's, it's, it's tart. Almost tart. Not sour, but tart. We're getting still something kind of creamy in the background. But the flavors, my guess is from the Habano wrapper, is some of that tartness. Some of that also a little bit of sweetness. It's not my favorite cigar, but great construction. I don't think I've had to retouch it. Uh, I think we had a little bit of an uneven burn, but it fixed itself. We have a great draw. Great smoke output. Let's knock the ash off there. And we are, let's see, about 46 minutes into this. And it's just consistent. It's, like I said, not a lot of flavor change, but I don't get that from a lot of Tatuaje cigars, you know, where there's a lot of complexity from beginning to middle to end, but there are spicy, that tart note, and something a little bit creamy, so there is complexity in the, the diverseness of the flavors, whereas like a Havana 6, it's kind of just straightforward. I like the cigar but it's not gonna blow your mind with, with complexity. This one is more complex than that. It is maybe got that tartness. If you don't like the Havana 6, you probably won't like this one. But stick around, I'll let you know how it's going and give you my final thoughts here in just a second. All right, we are at 75 minutes on this Tatuaje. Let's call it a day. So, as far as the construction goes, this was a great cigar. Uh, great, great burn, great draw, uh, wonderful smoke output. Uh, not a lot to complain about on that front. The flavors, let's talk about that. So, we've talked about that. I gave you my thoughts a few minutes ago, and not a lot has changed. This is a, your pretty standard Tatuaje except it added in that tartness, which I did not care for. 
really at all in the final third any sort of sweetness and creaminess that was in the first two thirds went away so I'm gonna give this a cigar score of four I'm gonna take my personal flavor profile preferences and all of that into account because I th I don't know that people are gonna love this tartness that I got in there it was kind of bitter it was almost off-putting and maybe it was just this one I don't know I've not had this 10 year anniversary 10th anniversary what have you I've not had this cigar before and I don't know if that's this is a common thing or if this was a one-off so given the fact that I don't have five of these to smoke and review I do have to buy the well someone gave me this one but I generally buy these cigars with my own money and therefore only had the one to smoke like I said I think this is a pretty solid cigar score of four I if you like Tatuaje try this one if you don't this isn't going to be the one that convinces you that Tatuaje is your your brand so great construction great draw great burn Great smoke output, just the flavors didn't hook me. So a cigar score of four for the Tatuaje 10th anniversary Kappa Especial. I don't remember the Vitola, but five and three quarters by 52, if I remember correctly, but I don't remember what they called it. Anyway, Cigar Score of four. Thanks for watching. I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. I hope you have an amazing day. If you want to buy your cigars from me, head over to CigarScoreLounge.com. And if you want the eight minute or so update on what's been going on, stick around after the credits and I'll see you there. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing day and as always, happy smoking. Okay, so if you've stuck around to the end of the um, video here, uh, let me give you the update that I promised. So we are in. We're today is June tenth, and I just submitted a man. How much? How much should I reveal? Okay, I'm gonna give you some details, but also more personal experience because I don't want to I don't want to jinx it uh, I also don't want to claim to have something that we don't have I also don't want to get your hopes up for something that we might not have so over the, so it is it's the middle of June ish or first half of June and over the last few weeks we've been looking we've been rolling around with the possibility of almost simultaneously opening two lounges uh, about 25 minutes apart and regardless of the two locations it just opening one it's scary you guys it's scary uh, you know we you can talk a big game but when it comes down to like actually putting your money where your mouth is it's it's a lot you know you're talking minimum minimum it's gonna cost us sixty five thousand dollars to get started if not 65,000 depending on the route we take I mean we could be a million dollars into it pretty pretty fast if we had to buy land and, and build something but we've got a couple opportunities right now right now on the table and we are working on details and it's a lot of money and so for the last so on, on January 17th by the way I wrote a book called exit strategy you can find it at the exit strategy book.com you can find it on Amazon and, and all these other places and it talked about my experience in corporate America why that ended what happened and all that other stuff but then I go on to show I show you the majority of the book is business lessons and tips and things about how to get your online business so that happened in 2014 
and my my LLC WYSIWYG Media was created in June, actually right around now, uh, exactly exactly ten years ago, and f since January of 2014, I've been my own boss. I've worked from home. I've had uh, and, and complete control over my schedule to go on cruises, to go on trips, to go sh shooting, to go to the range, to go play golf, to go to every single doctor's meeting with Ashley when she was going through breast cancer. And to open a lounge not only does that cost money not only does that tie us to one location not only does that mean I'll either have to hire somebody before which I've never done so that we can continue going on these vacations so that I can continue having ownership of my time not only those things but it means that I have to go into an office every it's a, it's a lot anyway I don't know maybe you're regretting sticking around to the end of the video here but at all of these events you know we've got events uh, in, in town we've been doing events and I get asked all the time how's it going any updates on the lounge situation um, and I, as of right now we have two possibilities and very few people know that and I'm recording this because I know this video is not going to come out anytime soon so a little bit of a safety net I, I don't know what's going to happen over the next two or three days. I have meetings with the city of Mid Midlothian starting at the end of the month. It's just a lot. Uh, I won't tell you where they are. I won't tell you how big they are. I won't tell you. I, I want to. Trust me, I want to. But the last time I did a video like that, it didn't work out. And I, I, I don't know if I jinxed it. I kind of feel a little bit stupid for not only getting my hopes up, even though I think I had every right to do that, but it, the rug got pulled out from under us. And I will give you one other thing too. I was trying to, I was trying to figure out how to articulate this, but you get your hopes up over and over and over again. You find a new location, you find a, a business opportunity that might work. You find a fill in the blank. A building somebody that is that that says yes and then over and over and over and over again probably in the last two years probably 30 or 40 times um, which averages out to more than one a month if you look at it of like this is it no it's not this is it no it's not and it, it kind of wears on you and I'm 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 intent on opening a cigar lounge I have that goal, Ashley and I have that goal, and we are very excited about it. But I'm just being honest with you, it wears on you a little bit to put so much time, energy, effort, resources, and in some cases money into getting to a, a, a spot, and then it's, it's taken away. But to end on a happy note, right now, we have the possibility of by the end of 2024 having two cigar score lounge locations and it is very exciting it is very intimidating moderately terrifying um i i don't, I don't know how to to add more to that but if you're one of those people who have made it to this point in the video you're one of those people that has checked in on us in the last two years. You're one of the people who have a, um, not necessarily a financial, but is a, a vested interest or an excited level, excitement level of interest in us opening a lounge. And uh, I just wanted to give you an update. I haven't really done that in a while. Uh, stay tuned. I maybe you've seen those updates by the time this video gets out because I'll, I'll hit stop recording and it'll get on my computer and I'll get around to editing it eventually. So maybe you've already seen some of these these updates because they've come out first on shorts or whatever. But 
Anyway, thanks for the questions. Thank you for staying interested. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for buying from us. Thank you for being a part of the Adventure Club. Thank you for for going through some of the software challenges and growing pains of starting a business completely from scratch in a world where you have have players in the industry that are worth tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars and it's just just us two people trying to trying to turn this this idea this dream into reality so thank you for all the prayers thoughts and encouragement see you in the next video